The Nürburgring is older than most car companies. It's a brutal proving ground, pushing everything to its extreme. It asks questions of every machine that tackles it. And the question we wanted answered was could a Range Rover behave like a performance car at the circuit they call the Green Hell? We always knew there was more to come from the Range Rover Sport. We had a super stiff, lightweight aluminium structure, a powerful engine and a state-of-the-art driveline. We enrolled the car into our Nürburgring development programme and the results are spectacular. With this version of the Range Rover Sport, I think we've unleashed its full potential. This is the most powerful Land Rover we've ever produced. Tune the anti-roll system on this vehicle to allow even faster, flatter cornering. We're just now coming down to the Fuxroar, it's a very fast downhill section. The corner at the bottom of the track can be taken at over 200 kilometres an hour. We've made significant revisions to the all-wheel drive chassis and the 8-speed ZF gearbox to deliver genuine sports car performance. We're now approaching Rideshide, which is the lowest point on the track. From here we'll climb up over 600 metres to Horax, which is the highest point of the circuit. The Nürburgring is the benchmark for performance development and endurance testing. Cars naturally become stronger, more durable and most of all faster over its 13 miles and 70 plus corners. So now we're approaching the most famous corner on the north side. This is the carousel. It's a good area for testing the traction control as you exit the corner. The car's completely unfazed by the camber changes or the curves on the track, which allows you to really push and hold onto the car. able to lap the noise life in a time more akin to a sports car than an SUV. This car is the ultimate performance evolution of the Range Rover Sport.